What I'm gonna do is just do the front uh, one side of the van first and then move everything back this way and then I'll concentrate on the back. So right now I'm done with the front portion. So I'm ready for the the uh, 3M tinselet. This van insulation is done, you guys. This van also gets three layers of insulation. The uh, uh, sound deadening, the reflecting, and also the thermal insulation, the 3M uh, insulate. So we are moving on right now. It's going to be the uh, framing before the walls and some wiring for the LED lights. Let's go. After a few days of rain, I think we're clear to start this project again. So to, uh, I finished the framing for our wall and run a few wires and the insulation is also completed. And uh, today I'm going to start installing our uh, ship lab. Okay, this ship lab we, uh, we're going to use is, this is solid, it's white pine, um, six and a half inch by half inch. So, okay, it's pretty light. That's what we've been using. Um, if you like using shiplap, uh, like me, it's very easy to install and it, you know, it looks really nice at the end. And um, if you don't want to build, to deal with, you know, complicated wall wrapping and uh, uh, deal with the, you know, the fabric and the foam, uh, glue and all of that so ship lab it is for this van um, the cost uh, went down a little bit from the previous each van uh, uh, we build cost of materials fluctuate a little bit so for example uh, I've been paying what 26 27 for a 12 foot long this time it was 20 two dollars I think per 12 foot and uh, 17 for an eight foot long so you can calculate your uh, the cost of the wall that you you know when if you want to plan budget and it takes about uh, 19 19 sheets 19 uh, planks of the 12 footer and nine of the eight footer. Let's go ahead and start it. You guys, it's good to do this with two people, but uh, sometimes if the other person is not available, this tool is your best friend. Uh, the first piece is always a challenge. Whether you do the wall or you do the ceiling or you do the floor, if you get the first one going right, the second and third will be easier for you. So, while having this holding in place, I'm checking to make sure that everything fits right before I start screwing. Well, at least I get to install two pieces sun next thing you know boom rain sun rain i feel like we're on the island this is this is cool
interruptions. This one is way overdue. It's supposed to have been done already by now, but look at this. I'm not even halfway. So today my goal is to to finish all the walls and then the painting. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, it's been like raining. It's been like busy with other things and you know taking a day break so all of that add up today I'm off so my goal is to finish all the all the walls at least and then paint it okay finally finished up with the walls you can see it's looking nice now it's time to do the cleanup and then do the painting our paint today is ultra pure white bears uh, stain blocker this is all uh, primer and paint in one so it's a scuff uh, protecting uh, defense called scuff defense so that's what we're using this time walls and ceilings are done the painting is done take a look I just love the shiplap pre prime and then we apply the, the gloss paint uh, uh, all in one the gloss and the prime all in one as well so I don't need to do a second layer take a look how it comes out really nice yeah, shiplap looks nice when after painting like this and if you like this kind of smooth surface look at that it's beautiful as far as the lights this fan is very make it very simple it's gonna have total of four of these three inch uh, LED light this is aluminum finish and it's a 64k cool white color it's got a spring load here that clips into this hole really strong like that okay we're gonna have four of these and then one in the shower looks really cool really nice and then on the wall let me show you it will uh, we make it simple and as clean as possible so instead instead of the battery bank, this one we're gonna have the portable uh, power, uh, EcoFlow portable power, and we are going to plug it into this wall using this uh, outlet here, inlet to the wall, and then show you, and then you even have your the USB and the two of the one tens. 100 uh, 100 uh, yeah 110 volt outlet here it's gonna be on both sides this one we already plugged it in and testing it and it's working I'm charging my speaker here and it's yes yeah, it's a test it's working already and that's it for this episode I hope you enjoy watching it and give you some kind of uh, ideas please don't forget if you like this content subscribe and give me thumbs up I will see you next video this is Bo bye now <laughs>